hey there guys so today's video is just going to be a chit chat get ready with me basically doing a quick summer face of makeup um this is like a day where i'm gonna be running some errands today i'm gonna be you know trying to hustle making some money um and also i need to run some errands later but today is going to be the first day that i'm going to be staying home and not have any plans later because I have been non-stop for like three months and it's been killing me. I've just been so tired that I just, I need to unwind a little bit. So I'm going to put my hair up because it is a hot, hot summer day today. It's like, it's going to be 90 degrees all week on Long Island, New York. So yeah, let's just go ahead and start so of course I wear eye primer every single day so I'm just going to use my ColourPop one this has been my absolute go-to when I just do everyday makeup I love this pri prima this primer it's just it's so good so I also have a couple things to update you guys on um so let me just squeeze this tube I just have a lot to do today um, a lot of things that I've been kind of putting off that I need to get done. I don't know if I'm going to get to everything, but yeah. I'm also going to try and work out in between me getting ready to get out of the house. I did stretch outside. I've been trying to, like, get myself a little bit in better shape. So I'm just going to prime my eyes. But I'm just going to do, like my full face on camera because like I don't wear like when I say full face it's not like full coverage like oh my god you can tell that I'm wearing makeup because I never really do I mean when I do like a colorful look and I wear like a more full coverage foundation everybody's like wow you wore more more makeup today and it's like wow you didn't wear any makeup you know like I hate when people say that because it's like why do you have, like, why can't you just say, well, your makeup looks really good? Or maybe you would say, like, I don't know if I love, like, this kind of look on you, blah, blah, blah. Like, rather you be, like, brutally honest than be, like, oh, you wore more makeup today. Like, it just annoys me. <laughs> so, whatever. It's like, <laughs> is that basically saying that it looks bad? Like, I'm not really sure. So, I just put on my Dewdrop Lip Oil, and then, of course, I'm just going to use my go-to powder, this has been my absolute favorite powder for the summertime. For any time, I've raved about this so much. So I'm just going to use the ColourPop pressed powder and just set my eyes. So for the eyeshadow palette that I'm going to use, my eyeshadow palette changes every single day. Like, unless it's really a palette that I'm either really wanting to test out and wear more of the shimmer shades or wear it like five straight days. But usually, 99% of the time, my um, eyeshadow palette is always different. Like, <clears throat> no matter what day it is, I like changing up my eyeshadow palette because I have a lot of eyeshadow palettes, so I like wearing different ones. So for today, I'm going to use the Winky Looks Coffee Palette. I have actually have not used this palette in I don't know how long, so I kind of wanted to whip it out today and use it because it's just such a simple, easy, neutral eye, and that's all I'm gonna do today I think I'm just gonna use like basically these four shades I don't think I'm even gonna do a outer cor outer corner so I'm gonna start out with this color right here and then of course I'm gonna pop whoopsie sorry I just stuck that on my <laughs> mouse pad that's what I usually do when I film is I just stick my eyeshadow palette on my mouse pad but I'm gonna move my water and I'll just put it over here and I always have a glass of water, no matter what, whenever I'm getting ready, whenever I'm doing anything, I always have a glass of water because you got to keep yourself hydrated, especially in the summertime. So I'm going to use the sky if it picks up. I don't even know if I've used this palette with these brushes. So I'm just going to go ahead and start with that shade. I honestly, I know that I liked Winky Lux. But I honestly cannot remember how they perform in the crease. 
So I'm kind of like refreshing my memory a little bit. Also, this palette does smell like coffee. But I feel like the smell <laughs> faded over time and it doesn't really smell like that anymore. Also, I'm sorry, I still have these rainbow nails, you guys. This nail polish, like this gel, has lasted so long and I just haven't bothered to rem remove it. It's kind of a process to remove it yourself. And if you go get it removed, I think they charge you a few dollars to remove it. So I'm just going to do it either at home or I'm just finally going to go get my nails done next week because, again, I haven't really had time to do any of these things for myself. The last time I got my nails done was when my sister was here last month and I did pride nails. So, yeah. So I'm just going to throw that in the crease. Again, I'm not doing anything crazy today. I just want to show you guys simple, uh, my simple face when it's a really hot day. Um, Probably most people wear less product than I do, but this is what I like doing. Everybody's makeup routine is different. Basically wear what makes you happy and what makes you confident. Um, it's your face and if you think it looks good, then it doesn't really matter what anybody else thinks. Because makeup makes me feel good. It always like helps me get through a day. It always is part of my routine. Like this is like washing my, like doing my skincare and getting dressed. It's like the same thing. Like it always is incorporated into my everyday routine because if I don't do it, it really throws me off. So, <laughs> and I'm not saying I need to do it to feel confident. I need to do it um, for, I just like doing it. There doesn't really have to be a reason for it. And I hate that people are so like obsessed with not wearing it. Cause it's like, what's the difference? Like it's not your face. And again, like, when people, like, comment and say, wow, you're wearing a lot of makeup. And it's like, wow, you are you don't wear any makeup. Like, would I say, oh, you, you need some makeup, you know? Like, it's the same thing to me. Like, I'm not going to go up to someone and be like, I think you should start wearing makeup, you know? <laughs> like, that's just rude. And I feel like it's rude when people are always like, oh, you don't really need it. Or all this. Or blah, blah, blah. Like, it's just annoying. So now I'm just going to use that darker brown underneath the shade that I just used in the crease. And I'm just going to use that to define the crease area. I think I'm also going to take that one in my outer corners just to put a little bit of definition. Because I didn't want like that super brown shade on the outer corners so I decided to just take this one on the outer corners as well. I sometimes do that on like really simple days like this or like on days where or also in a palette that doesn't have like a darken a darkening shade that goes with the look that I'm doing. I'll just take that crease shade that I use in the look and then just use it on the outer corners because it always shows up like darker on the outer corners so I'm just going to take that a little bit more so there have been a few things that I have been eyeing makeup wise but I'm trying to stay strong and not get too much right now because again I really just need to save some money right now I have to pay my car in a few days but I am getting a pretty decent paycheck in the next the next week because we actually made a bonus plan for my store. Sorry, I'm just stretching. I'm just going to pop on my brow bone highlight because I'm just going to pop on some glitter glue off, off camera. So like I said, I'm just going to use that matte white shade and put that on my brow bone. Um, but yeah, we did make bonus plan for June. So we do get like like an $100 bonus in our paycheck because I'm just a supervisor. I'm not, you know, a real manager even though I'm called a manager. I don't get like manager pay. But at least it's an extra something. And I did work more the past two weeks. Like I worked four shifts last week. 
and this week we had like a store meeting on Sunday so that does count for something too so it should be a decent amount so your girl needs it believe me <laughs> so now I'm just gonna put on some glitter glue and then we'll do the okay lid. and then for the lid shade I'm gonna pop on the center shade it's like a shimmery uh, very muted peach shade so I'm just going to take that and put that all over the lid it's so pretty and I'm just gonna pop that right on the lid super super pretty so like I actually was thinking about decluttering this palette for a little while because you guys know I've just been in like a decluttering mode or I always get in that type of mode like in the spring and summertime where I just want to clean out some products but also I want to try and sell stuff of my Poshmark just to make you know a little bit extra money um but then I was actually looking at my neutral palettes and I know a lot of people would comment on my videos like all you wear is neutral palettes which is fine like you know it's just my preference on what I like wearing on a daily basis but when I actually looked at my neutral palettes, I don't really have too many. Like, I might have, like, a few, but it's not my entire collection. Like, maybe I have, like, ten. But I honestly felt like I had more than that, but it's really, like, probably only, like, ten. And honestly, I don't have too many from ColourPop. I only have... The Going Coconuts and the, um, the plush like me, the into it's, it's, oh my god, it's a princess thing. Can you speak English? It's a princess thing and Dream Street, which I don't even use those two anymore because they're like too old. So I was actually surprised at myself that I didn't really have that many from ColourPop. And then when I actually looked at the ones that I have from other brands, it's only like a few. Like the Sigma one has been like my absolute go-to since I got it. But then I kind of forgot about this one. And this one is actually a really nice, easy, neutral palette. So I'm just going to take that brown shade again and kind of just define the outer corners a little bit more. And then just to find the crease a little bit more again just to clean up the shimmer a little bit and that's about it for that yeah I think that looks really pretty all right I'm just gonna wet my sponge and then we'll do my face okay so now for my just base spray I'm gonna use the fourth ray beauty do it hydrolonic hydrating mist I've been using this literally every day since I've gotten it it's just so hydrating. I love it. And like I said, it's basically a dupe for the um, MAC one. I say that every time I use it. Um, and then for the primer, I'm going to use my Maybelline Baby Skin Primer. Um, my primer changes up every day, but I pretty much use like the same four primers. I use, I've been using the e.l.f. Dew Primer a lot, which is the watermelon one. I've shown that on camera before. Um, and I also use my NYX Marshmallow Primer a lot and my Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer, but I wanted to use this one today, um, just because this one's like a nice smoothing one. It makes your skin feel so soft. Okay, and then for the foundation, I'm going to use a really lightweight one, and I've been loving this one this summer, and this is the Tarte C Hydro Flex Serum Foundation. It's a very watery-based foundation. And it's just a really nice, like, lightweight foundation to wear in the summertime. Like, I've been loving it. I usually wear, if I want to wear, like, a tinted moisturizer, I'll wear um, the Urban Decay Hydromaniac. It's, like, my favorite one in the summertime. Or I'll wear the, um, whatchamacallit, the, um... Fenty Beauty Easy Skin Tint or the the other one that I've been really loving recently and since I got it like last year what is the Tower 28 one I love that one too a lot in the summertime but for today I just wanted something really lightweight and this is like one of my favorites so 
I think I used this in my last like get ready with me video but it's just such a nice foundation so but again usually the foundation also changes up daily so I've just been trying to like work through some more of my products so yeah like I said I've been eyeing stuff makeup wise and I've been keeping on going back and forth on Colourpop's website of course because there are a few things that I want to get and usually I make one Colourpop order per month like I did get the in the limelight palette and those other products that I ordered um like at the beginning of July I feel like there's a piece of hair somewhere don't you hate that because I do <laughs> um and then you can never seem to get rid of it. Um, and they have this promo going on right now where... So I just ran out of my ColourPop Tinted Moisturizer. Like, I think at the end of last month. And they have a promo going on where you can get a free Tinted Moisturizer Mini. With any orders over, like, I think $30. And I'm like, that is absolutely perfect because then I don't have to worry about purchasing like a new one, like a full size one and using up the full size when I can just get a mini. Um, and that'll be perfect for me to use throughout the summertime because I'm already missing it in my collection. It was one of my favorites that I had. Um, so I was like, I'll just do that. But if I want to do that, I can't use any promo codes or... Um, discount codes from like an influencer like I have to pay full price for everything else and then I can get the uh, the promo which means like I can't combine the discount code with the free mini because if I do then I have to pay for the mini um, but then everything else is discounted so I'm just like well, that's dumb. So maybe I'll just do two separate orders. But I don't know, like, how long that promotion... Well, they said while supplies last. But I would really like to get a mini of that. Like, it's not the end of the universe if I don't. Because I probably will just end up purchasing a full size anyway if I don't use that promotion. And usually for me, I just wait until ColourPop does their 30% off sale. By the way, I'm using my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. I haven't used this one in a little while and this is like my go-to absolute favorite concealer for every day. You guys know I've been using this concealer for like years now and it's my favorite. I love it so much. I've been using the e.l.f. hydrating one a ton since I got it so I wanted to use something else today because I really do love this concealer. Um, and I didn't sleep the greatest last night, so it's really good at hiding my circles underneath my eyes, because it's literally called the Dark Circle Eraser, so I'm not sure what I'm going to do, but obviously I'll haul whatever I decide to get, so I'm really wanting to get the Palm Springs palette. I think it's so pretty. I kept on deciding against it, and now I keep on looking at it, and now I'm like, I think it's so pretty for the summertime. But I need to finish testing out the In the Limelight palette before I get anything new. Because I don't really have, like, that many things to wear with it. Like, I didn't really think about that. I'm like, I don't really have too many green things to wear with it. So, but we'll see. So, also, I'm going to go to the train station today. Not to go anywhere, but I think I'm going to try and get a refund for the ticket that I didn't use when me and my friends went into the city and then for my um under eyes I'm setting it with the rare beauty powder I love this powder for really hot days because it's such a lightweight powder so I'm just gonna use that right here I'm not gonna use too much of it I just want to use it a little bit more underneath my eyes okay yeah that's good that's all I'm going to do with that because I always say I'm not going to use too much and then I use a lot so I need to keep it light and then for my face of course I'm just going to use again the pressed powder blush 
blush. Pressed powder, pow pressed powder. Just the pressed powder, Caitlin, not the pressed powder powder from um, <laughs> ColourPop. Um, oh, Lord Jesus. Having technical difficulties. No, it's good. So anyway, that looks so good. Oh my God. See how good it makes my skin look? Like I cannot get over how good this powder is. And it's literally like $8. Like not even $8. <laughs> I love it. And I'm trying to use it up. I mean, I'm, I'm doing a pretty good job. So I'm not buying a backup though until I use it up completely. So anyway, your girl is tired. So now I'm going to do mascara. See, so yeah, I'm going to try and get a refund today. Hopefully, I'll be able to because it says you can get... Because at first, like, when I asked my friend, like, how do you get a refund? Like, my friend that was with me that day to go to the city, he said that you have to mail in um, your ticket. And I was like, that seems like it's pretty dumb. I was like, I'm sure there's an easier way. And it turns out that you just have to go to a train station that has a Amtrak office, which I'm hoping the one that I go to, like the train station that I take into the city has an Amtrak office because I'm going to go there right after this and see if I can get a refund. Because I'm not going to use that ticket anytime soon. Like me and my friends are saying that we need to use our ticket before September 6th. But honestly, um, we're probably not even thinking about going again until September. And then I'll just buy an, an, another ticket then. Because that's like a month and a half from now. So I'm like, I don't need to be holding on to a ticket that I'm not going to use for like a month. So... I mean, yes, it makes sense so then I don't have to pay for another ticket when I actually go, but I'd rather have the money back now, so. Okay, so for my liner, I'm just going to use my LA Girl Nude Liner. You guys know this is like my go-to. I'm not obsessed with ColourPop's liners. I think you guys have known this for a while. They're just not my favorite. The LA Girl one is so good. But what's so funny is that I only like the LA Girl liners that are in this packaging. I don't like the Neon Shockwave liners. I only use those for Halloween looks because they are really good to like draw on the face with. But on the waterline, I do not like them. But they're really good like cheap liners to use for Halloween looks. And that's the only time I use them. Okay. Um, we're just going to clean up the eyeshadow again a little bit because we got a bit of transfer. I'm just going to do that. Um, but also my boyfriend got in, uh, he got his car hit a couple days ago by this stupid guy who hit his parked car. And it sucked. <laughs> it was like two days ago. When I came over on Monday and literally it happened like five minutes after I got there this guy hit his car from like the opposite direction because we got like his neighbors um like security camera footage and their ring doorbell footage and they all showed us like how the car hit his car and this guy literally came from the opposite side and hit his parked car and then just drove off. Did not even stop to assess the damage or anything. He just drove off. So he needs to deal with trying to find the vehicle. But I told him like he needs to file a claim and a complaint with the Department of Transportation. Because I'm pretty sure that they are responsible for all of the damages. And he has the, the number of the vehicle because all of those vehicles have like a number on the side of them because neither of his neighbor's um, security cameras captured 
the license plate, unfortunately. I just used my Act Natural mascara from ColourPop in brown. You guys know it's like my favorite everyday mascara. Um, so unfortunately, they didn't capture this guy's license plate, but after it happened, we like called the police to fi file the accident report. But you know, they said, since we don't have a license plate number, we can't do anything, but obviously we had to file the police report. So we did that. And then we called his insurance, he called his insurance and whatever. So after that, we pretty much couldn't do anything else. Because actually the Department of Transportation was closing around that time. Because it happened around like 3.55 in the afternoon. I had gotten there at like 3.50 and it happened literally five minutes after I got there. I was like, if only I was outside for, for a couple more minutes, I would have seen the guy and taken a picture of his license plate. And then they could have just gotten him. But it just sucks because... It just, it, it really sucked that day. So that's all I'm going to say. I don't want to like go into too much detail, but hopefully we'll be able to get that resolved because they hit like his left passenger side and they did like a number on his like paint above the tire and he kind of like cracked like above the tire as well. Like you know, like that line that's on top of the tire, they kind of like cracked that a little bit. So I don't want to go into too much detail because it's just, it really sucked. So <laughs> yeah. Um, so anyway, let's finish up the eyes. I don't even know where my color switches are tells, And I'm just going to use, I'm just going to use the um, shimmer shade right here on my inner corners it's like a really pretty light shimmery gold and I'm just gonna pop that right here I really need to wash my inner corner brush again I did actually wash my eyeshadow brushes a couple of days ago and I think I told you guys that I did buy the Sephora brush cleaner because the Ulta one is just freaking awful I hate it so I had to go and buy my Sephora one again because I could not stand the Ulta one anymore. And plus I had used that one up. But it's, it's just so bad. Like it smells awful. And what's funny is that I hate the Sephora spot cleaner. But I love the Ulta one. This one is so good. Because the Sephora one is like scented with stuff that irritates my skin. Because my skin like hates like citrus stuff. Besides vitamin C, like, obviously, my skin can take that. But, like, the Sephora brush cleaner has, like, a citrus scent to it and has, like, orange acids in it or whatever. And I can't use it to clean my brushes because then my eyes get irritated if I use my brushes the next day, if I use that. This one is so mild and easy to use. But I hate their, um, their soap, like, their solid soap. It literally smells like an like an old lady perfume. And also it's um it doesn't clean my brushes as well as the Sephora one. The Sephora one I really like. It smells really good. Like it has a very mild scent to it, but it actually cleans my brushes. Like I don't care how it smells. I'd rather it be unscented, but the, uh, the Ulta one has an awful smell and it doesn't really clean that well at all. Like, I have to use so much of the soap just to get my sponge clean that I'm like, and they're literally around like the same price and I'm just like, I'm just going to get the Sephora one again because I was like, I can't stand this anymore. Okay, so I had like eye goo of course, but I think I got rid of that. So that's pretty much it for the eyes. Really, really simple. But I think it turned out so pretty. So that's that. And now we're going to do bronzer. And I have not been able to put this bronzer down. I think I've said this in every bit, get ready with me that I've done. But I'm going to use the ColourPop Matte Bronzer in the shade Alviva Beach. I've just been absolutely obsessed with this. I just love it on my skin. It's such a beautiful shade. 
and I just love the velvety smooth texture of it. Again, it's like been my absolute favorite bronzer like I've ever used. And again, it's so easy to apply. So I'm just going to use that. No like super amazing secret here. I just, I've been loving this. It's just so beautiful on the skin. And I just find myself not wanting to use any other bronzer. I just have been loving this so much. So I'm just going to take that. And I have to go pick out a blush. But everything else is pretty much in front of me, of course. So let me just pick out a blush. Probably just going to use a ColourPop one, most likely. But that looks so, isn't it look so pretty? And it adds like such a healthy bronze to my skin. I just, I'm obsessed. I love it so much. Oh, it's so pretty. All right, let me just get a blush. Okay, so for blush, I'm going to use the ColourPop Pressed Powder Cheek in the shade Wayfarer. This is from the Wild Nothing collection. I love this blush. It's such a pretty everyday peach shade, so I'm just going to use that. Nothing crazy. It just adds such a pretty, like, simple glow to my cheeks. I was going to use Max Melba, but then I was like, wait, I haven't used this one in a little while. And this is, like, one of my favorite summer blushes as well. I'm just really going on a no buy for blushes for a while because honestly I just have way too many I was trying to declutter some more and it just didn't really happen um I decluttered like two other palettes but honestly like like I haven't listed them yet on my Poshmark but your girl still has way too many so and of course I'm already putting on too much but I just really love how this blush looks it's so pretty and I love this uh blush brush from ColourPop I've been obsessed with it I just need a little bit more over there. Yeah, that's pretty. I don't know why this one is not as blended as this side. I feel like no matter how much you blend out your blush, it still doesn't turn out the way that you really want it. <laughs> I always have that difficulty, but looks really pretty. And then for the highlights, I'm going to use the same highlighter that I used in my last get ready with me video that I posted because I've only used it in that video so I'm going to use the color pop Winnie the Pooh highlighter in the shade 100 acre wood because I really would like to use this again it's such a pretty like yellowy gold I think it'll be really pretty I think I'm just going to take my fingers and just pop it on my cheeks Ooh, yes it's so pretty I'm just going to take it over here too, obviously. I'm just going to... See, I hate blending out stuff with my fingers because I always feel like it just sits on top of my skin. Where is my highlighting brush? Zaratus. I'm just going to blend it out with no product. Yeah, that definitely looks better. And I'm going to take a little bit more. Yeah, that definitely blended out better. It's so pretty. I'm just going to take it on my nose and on my cupid's bow. I always highlight the tip of my nose. I've always liked how it looks. I don't know. I just think it looks so pretty. I just, you know, y'all know I love highlighter like so much. So yeah, that looks super pretty. Let's see. Hopefully it's not just sitting on top of my skin. Eh, a little bit, but it's all right. We're not, like, going for, like, a super glam look today, so it's not really, like, a huge deal. And I like these kind of products for, like, really hot days because they'll last longer. And I like that kind of, like, sweaty look that it has on the skin. Yeah, like, we don't want to sweat, but we want to look dewy, so, <laughs> Yeah. Okay, so that is it for that. Looks super pretty. Okay. And then for... Let me just put this away. But I really like how that looks. I was going to use like a more natural one. But that looks super pretty. So we're not mad at that. Um, and then I'm just going to, again, set my face with the Do It's uh, Hydrating Mist. And I'm just going to fan myself off 
And then for my brows, so I'm just gonna pop on a quick lippy. I just use a clear brow gel, like we're, again, not doing anything glamorous, but honestly, like, I never do anything glamorous with my brows. I'm just not a brow bitch. Like, I just, I don't like doing my brows. Like, I just don't care enough. But I'm just going to brush through my brows with a spoolie. I also just want to just dab my face and absorb the setting mist real quick. Again, it feels like there's hair on my face. Like, what is the deal? That is so annoying. I hate that. Okay, and then we're just going to brush through the um, Wet n Wild brow gel. I already feel like this is dried out. My brow, my brow gels just don't last. Like, I really feel like this isn't really doing anything. I thought that this one was going to last longer. I mean, it basically just cleans them up more, which is fine because that's what I wanted to go for anyway. Um, but I just find they dry out so fast. And I was like, this one will probably last longer because it's in like a sealed packaging. Nope, did not last longer at all. All right, and then for my lips, I'm just going to go in with one of my go-to products. Usually it's either this or the e.l.f. Sheer Stick. I've been absolutely loving that e.l.f. Sheer Stick, but I'm going to go in with this one today because I just wore that one like two days ago. So I'm just going to switch it up and use my glowing lip from ColourPop today. So this is the shade, um, what shade is this again? Indulge Me. It kind of melted a little bit in the cap, so I'm just going to be a little bit more careful with it. But yeah, that's what I'm putting on my lips today. And that's it, you guys. I'm just going to pop that on. It's already, like, bending. But it's super pretty and just easy to wear. Maybe I should use a lip brush, but I cannot be bothered. Oh my goodness. How did I do that already? So are you guys watching any shows lately? I am almost finished with working moms. My mom and I have been watching this new show on Apple TV called Blackbird. And it's with, like, a pretty good cast. Um, I'm an old soul at heart, but also, like, I look younger than I actually am. I'm 33. I'm going to be 34 next month. All right, let me just finish applying this. Hold on. Okay, you guys. So here is the finished look. I absolutely love how this turned out. Again, simple, easy summer face. And again, the eyeshadow palette, the um, foundation, tinted moisturizer, blush, highlight, all change every day pretty much. And the lip does too. But usually 99% of the time, if I do like a simple, easy look like this, I'm either going to be wearing the glowing lip from ColourPop or the e.l.f. Sheer Stick. Or the Just a Tint lip balms from ColourPop are also amazing. Or like a ColourPop Luxe lip oil. I love those too, but I just wanted to throw on this one today. And it's just such a beautiful lipstick to wear, especially in like on a really hot day. But yeah, check out Blackbird. If you like murder drama series, this one is not like graphic. It's just a really good story. It's with Taron Egerton. I don't know if you guys are familiar with him. He was the star of the Kingsman series. He was not in the third movie, but he was Rocket Man. He literally played young Elton John. And Elton John was so impressed on how good he was. Like he like raved about him. And they actually met each other on the set of the second Kingsman movie because Elton John was in uh, Kingsman. He had, like, a cameo. And somehow they, like, connected and 
he auditioned for the part and Elton John loved him. He was amazing in that. If you haven't seen that, I love that movie. That's like my favorite. It, it was just so good because it was done like a Broadway show. And I, I hope it becomes a Broadway show. But he's amazing and he's the star of this series. It's really good. It's also with Ray Liotta, which he just unfortunately passed away in May. I think that this was his last series. I know he had a couple of other things in production, I think, that were still coming out. But he's a legend. He was in Goodfellas. He's amazing. He plays his father. He's so good on this. And then also Greg Kennard is in it. He's amazing too. Um, he was the one of the stars of Little Miss Sunshine. That's an amazing movie if you haven't seen it. And he's been in like a ton of movies and shows. He's so good. I love him. It's a really good show so far. There's only been three episodes because um, it comes out every Friday because that's what Apple does. They release it every Friday. So yeah, but it's really good. And I'm almost done with Working Moms. I have like six episodes yet left. So I need to go because I need to pee. So I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. I also need a haircut. My hair is getting way too long, but where I get my haircut, I've been going there for so long, and they're a little expensive, but I really want to get my haircut for the summertime because it's just getting too long for me. Like, I can't stand it anymore. So, yeah, I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. Follow me on my Instagram at CBW819 and check out my Poshmark at the same handle. Um, check out my Poshmark and see if there's anything you're interested in. We can negotiate a price. I'm pretty flexible. Um, so, yeah, I love you guys so much, and I hope you have a good day, and I hope you're enjoying your summer. Don't forget to relax and take time for yourself. I am giving that, giving myself that mantra too because I've just been doing way too much and I'm just like, slow down girl. All right, I love you guys. Bye.